it is really important that you should be able to do a word problem and read and translate into um, algebraic expressions. So let's look at this example. We have a right triangle. We know the length of the longer leg is two centimeters more than twice the length of the shorter leg. The hypotenuse is eight centimeters more than the length of the shorter leg. So notice each of these legs and the, the leg and the hypotenuse are given in terms of the shorter leg. So I'm gonna let the shorter leg be X the hypotenuse is 8 centimeters more than, more than means plus, so the hypotenuse will be x plus 8, and the longer leg is 2 more than twice the length of the shorter leg, so that's 2x plus 2. And we know that we need to use Pythagorean theorem here. So I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to have to do some foiling, so I know I'm going to have my hypotenuse squared is equal to the shorter leg squared plus the longer leg squared. And we talked about the fact that you can't distribute an exponent over anything with a plus, meaning like over here, this is not going to be x plus x squared plus 64. That what we have to do is foil this out, and you will learn how to do this automatically very shortly. But that's x plus 8 times x plus 8. And on the right hand side, we're going to have 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. So let's foil out what uh, this is. We know that x plus 8 times x plus 8 gives us x squared. 8x and 8x is 16x plus 64. On the right-hand side, we're going to have x squared plus 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. If I look at the outer terms, that's 4x. Inner terms are another 4x, so 4x plus 4x gives us plus 8x. Our last term, we know, is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. So let's just clean this up a little bit. We have x squared. So we have x squared plus 16x, whoops, x squared plus 16x plus 64 is equal to, and on the right-hand side, we have 5x squared plus 8x plus 4. Since this is a quadratic, we need to set this equal to 0, so I'm going to move everything over to the right. If I subtract x squared, that's going to give me 4x squared. 8x minus 16x is minus 8x, and 4 minus 64 is minus 60 is equal to 0. What I know I can do to each term is I can factor a 4 out, which is going to leave me with x squared minus 2x minus 15. I can, in fact, divide both sides by 4 and just get rid of that, but I'll just leave it there just because you might not be familiar with that. But I know x squared minus 2x minus 15 is going to factor into x and x minus 5 plus 3. So we should get x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 3. Um, if we look at what we have, let's go back up to the top, x cannot be negative 3. So let's just go with x is equal to 5. So if x is equal to 5, then we know one side has length 5, the other side has length, well, 2 times 5 is 10, 12, and the hypotenuse then has length 13. So that's kind of a lot of work. Let's look at slide. And for our next slide,